So despite my better judgments and instincts that told me to bring a lighter weight and smaller, more compact travel tripod along with me, this is the tripod setup that I decided to take with me on my previous adventure overseas. Don't get me wrong, this is an amazing setup and probably my favorite setup for getting video. But when you're traveling overseas, you're limited in space, you're walking miles and miles a day, this is cumbersome and it gets a little bit overwhelming. To help with transport of the tripod, I decided to pick this up before I left. This is the air cell tripod strap. The main thing that makes this tripod strap different from the others are essentially these air cells. Little pockets that are filled with air that really helps to disperse and distribute the weight of the tripod across your shoulder. There are two types of tripod straps that air cell makes. This one is the Manfrotto one and essentially the only difference between the Manfrotto and the regular tripod strap that air cell makes is this little quick release buckle. This attaches to certain Manfrotto tripods while the other one has two quick release buckles as you can see. So like I said, this is the tripod setup that I decided to take with me. So this happens to be one of the tripod legs that has this quick attachment point. So you just take the buckle, snap it into place, open up the buckle on the other end, and really just attach it to anywhere on the tripod legs that you feel like it. I generally attach it right above the flip locks and that's really all there is to it. That's your tripod strap. And you just put it over your shoulder however you want to do it to make carrying a lot easier. So this is generally how I would carry this tripod with the air cell strap. As you can see, just over one shoulder and the tripod hangs behind my back. So right off the bat, no doubt this is the most comfortable tripod strap I have ever tried. But that being said, it is not perfect in my opinion. So if you get the Manfrotto specific strap, it always attaches to the top of your tripod. That means that your tripod head will always slant downwards. And to me, I don't really like this because I like to have my tripod head closer to the top of my head because I generally know where that's going. This way, when I'm walking, this thing kind of swings around and it just makes it easier for the tripod head to just swing around hitting people, hitting objects, and just getting in damage in general. Another problem with this setup is that because the legs are up and sometimes I would have the, uh, the strap or the tripod in front of me, that means that the dirty ass tripod legs is always like in my face, rubbing against me and stuff like that. So this particular setup is just annoying to me and I don't really like the way that it's just orientated. Now if I were to go back, I would highly recommend Manfrotto tripod user or not to just get the tripod strap with the two buckles. That way you can really flip it around however you want, having the head up, head down, or just, like I said, really however you want. And just makes life a lot easier than just this Manfrotto specific quick release point. Overall, like I said, this tripod strap is without a doubt the most comfortable tripod strap that I've ever tried. And I think it's worth a try, but like I said, I would just really recommend the model with the two buckles versus the Manfrotto specific model that I have right here. So if this video has helped you out, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share this video, comment if you have any questions on this product or anything else, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.